Hey, hi there, I'm Chris. This is my channel, Other Side of the Track. Thank you so much for being here today. I received a package this week, so I'm super excited to open it up and check it out. So let's go ahead and get up here on the layout. I got everything cleared off, so it's ready to go. If you like this video or my other videos, uh, please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and you can always support me on Patreon. I would most appreciate it. Once upon a time in mid-2022, Lionel put out a Volume 2 catalog. And in the midst of this catalog, one could find Strasburg number 89, built in two different color schemes, 2000s and 1970s. To go with that 1970s scheme, we have these classic green and yellow passenger coaches, former MTH tooling. The catalog also featured some other Strasburg goodies, but of all, the, all these items, uh, the 89 Mogul is the first to reach consumers. Also in the catalog, we see uh, some past iterations of the engine. Uh, Canadian National, for example, here. Before Strasbourg acquired number 89, it was uh, with the Green Mountain Railroad, briefly, in the uh, 1960s and early 70s. Before that, it was Canadian National, and it was originally built for the Grand Trunk Railroad in Canada in 1910. It was acquired by Canadian National in 1923 and was retired in the 1950s. Uh, this has become a favorite of the Strasbourg Railroad in addition to number 90 and number 475. Here it is, the big box. Let's go ahead and get it open. I have to admit, seeing that catalog presented me with a certain dilemma. Do I get the 2000s paint scheme, which would go great with the 2000s passenger cars, which Lionel released not too long ago, or do I go with the 1970s paint scheme, and with such I definitely would have to get those green and yellow 1970s passenger cars. Options, <laughs> decisions, dilemmas. So, after much consideration, I decided the best approach to solve this vexing situation I was in Ooh. was to get both of them. Here we go. Here's the 2000s. And last, and certainly not least, we go 1970s. Here we have our mobile shipping boxes side by side. I think we'll go with the uh, 1970s first, as that's the old design, and then we'll uh, break out the 2000s second. Okay, I gotta prepare myself for this. All right, we're good to go. Let's open these boxes up. All right, here we go. So it's been, yeah, nearly a year since these were uh, pre-ordered. So I've been waiting quite a while for them. Hard to believe they're actually here. And they beat out number 90, but of course, Lionel already had the tooling for uh, number 90. He just had to uh, do some little updates and pack some more goodies in it. All right. Here's our classic Lionel orange box. Here's our sticker on the side. 031 minimum curve. That's Good news for me with my little itty bitty layout. <laughs> temporary, temporary itty bitty layout. One day we'll have a bigger one. All right, it's always a nice feeling opening up a train for the very first time. Ooh, has that new train smell. Here's our 
manual. Here's the reveal. Oh. Nice. Wow. Eighty nine is a small engine, of course. But this is very nicely detailed. Loving the white striping here. This should bring it back. <laughs> Call me old school. Right. Wow. I'm just left speechless. Is there a line on legacy sticker? Control switches on here. Rolled all over the place. <laughs> all right, get this tender out. Of course, 89 uses coal, so we have a nice looking coal load here. Great looking tender. Now, from time to time, I've seen some of the older Lionel number 89s come up, and even uh, the 89 put out by MTH years ago. But um, with Lionel putting out this catalog for the next generation of 89, I decided rather than get one of the old conventional ones, I'd go ahead and get one of these brand new ones with all the legacy goodies, and latest uh, gearbox design. Okay, this is looking nice. Wow, this is a great looking engine. In the front here, uh, I will point out that we do have a scale coupler here, but if you want to switch it out to be able to uh, couple something from the front of the engine, Lionel did include in the box a traditional uh, O-gauge coupler. But notice the grab bars here have the little chain which can uh, Pull the pin here. That's a really great detail there. Got our little uh, plate here in the front. Looks awesome. Lanterns. Very sweet. Let's take a moment to discuss all of the features that Lionel has somehow managed to pack into this very tiny engine. It of course has the legacy control system, so you can run in legacy mode, train master, command control, or conventional. Bluetooth, so you can operate with the Lion Chief app. It has, of course, road-specific details, uh, wireless tether, electrical coupler on the rear of the tender, directional lighting, such as the headlight and the backup light on the tender, bicolor illuminated classification lights, interior illumination in the cab, die-cast metal locomotive body, pilot, and trucks, die-cast metal tender body and trucks, Lots of other separately applied details, applied builder's plate, synchronized fan-driven smoke, adjustable smoke output, detailed cab interior, cab quote-unquote glass windows, of course, engineer and fireman figures, crew talk dialogue, which changes depending on whether the locomotive, locomotive is in motion or at a stop, six official railroad speeds, Dyna Chuff synchronized with 32 levels of intensity as the locomotive gains speed. Legacy whistle control, single hit or continuous mechanical bell sounds, five levels of bell pitch, various sequence controls, current speed and fuel dialogue, cool oil loading sound effects. How did they get that all in there? I don't know. Yeah, so it's just a sharp looking engine. These white stripings on the wheels here. All the separately applied details. The decals look really sharp. Beautiful lines on this thing. Okay, the water doors, this decorative doesn't open. From every angle, this engine looks great, in my opinion. 
Let's go ahead and fire it for the first time. Hopefully you can pick it up on the camera, but this engine makes a lot of just steam engine noises in the background even when it's not moving. That's a really cool uh, feature that they've done with this engine. Here we have our 2000s paint scheme, number 89, Vogel. Side of the box. of course and we have it 2000s engine Nice. All right, let's get that tender. And there's our tender. Cool. And there we go. Our 2000s paint scheme Strasburg number 89260 mobile also looks outstanding. All right, here we have our mobile side by side. 2000s in the foreground, 1970s paint scheme in the back. In terms of uh, differences, of course, 70s has this nice uh, white striping. But notice that the 2000s, the headlamp is right in the middle of the boiler, whereas in the older school it's mounted here up on top. And we got these uh, big number boards here 
on the 2000s. All right, on our older Strasburg 89, the 89 itself on the cab is quite large. And here we have on the tender, the traditional egg-shaped logo. Here on the 2000s, the 89 logo is much smaller and the Strasbourg Railroad emblem here is that angled sign which harkens back to the style of Canadian National which uh, of course was one of the former owners of this engine. And uh, Strasbourg does strive for that uh, historical accuracy and harkening back to the history of their pieces which is a really cool touch. Now the backs of the tenders are looking uh, pretty much identical. The only difference being the logos on the side and uh, we've got this yellow striping here on the 70s where it's a straight black plane on the uh, 2000s paint scheme. All right, in order to run these trains, I'm definitely gonna need some reinforcements. Bingo! <laughs> We've got some MTH coaches here, which will go with that uh, 2000s engine. And I don't have any 1970s green and yellow coaches as of yet to go with our second one here. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and give it uh, a freight consist. We'll try that out. Alrighty, now we have our passenger cars on the tracks, some of our freight cars here. So, I didn't start collecting trains until last year, 2022. So, uh, Lionel had bought the uh, tooling for a lot of these cool uh, coach cars from MTH, but uh, MTH had them for a few years and put out a lot of different things. And so, uh, since I kind of missed the boat on uh, all those items that were put out over the years, uh, where could I go to find a lot of these neat old items? So, we got Lion Valley Baggage Car. I got that from Trains.com. United States Mail Railway Post Office. Really cool car. I got that from Trains.com. Over here we got our uh, Walnut Hollow Passenger Car. Trains.com. Here's our super cool Marion Observation Car. That was Trains.com. And in the back here, I got uh, Paradise uh, from the MTH. Uh, Lionel just recently released uh, their Paradise car. But this one I actually got from uh, eBay. But yeah, trains.com, you can always find a lot of cool things. Let's go ahead and fire up our 2000s engine here. Oh, it's smoking. That's some good smoke. <laughs>
All right, folks, there we have it. The brand new Lionel Strasburg Railroad, number 89260 Mobile. 70s and 2000s paint schemes. They're second generation versions of the engines, I should say. Uh, very happy with them. They look great. They run great. Great for any Strasburg collection. Uh, if you like the Strasburg Railroad, you should definitely consider uh, picking these up. And just a reminder, if you have not done so already, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please do consider supporting us on Patreon. Our Patreon handle is The Other Side of the Tracks. And uh, your support will help uh, support our channel and get uh, other interesting items to take a look at, review, run, and explore. Alright, well, I greatly appreciate it. Check out our other videos. Have yourself a wonderful day.